Hello YouTube, this is Mad Movie Mark, and I'm here on the second day in a row with a review. I know I just did one yesterday, uh, but I did see A Quiet Place 2 last weekend with my fiance, so that I thought I would try to share some thoughts on that while it's still fresh in my mind, uh, but I don't plan on doing any spoilers, uh, so hopefully you guys have that to look forward to. I know the movie just came out, so I don't want to talk too much about it, but I will try to give my opinion on it. Uh, so it stars John Krasinski as Lee Abbott, Emily Blunt as Evelyn Abbott, Noah Jupe as Marcus Abbott. I hope I pronounced that correctly. If not, I apologize. Um, Millicent Simmons as Reagan Abbott, and uh, Cyrilon Murphy as Emmett. I probably pronounced that wrong as well. Um, so the movie... To be honest, I saw the first movie uh, when it came out in theaters. I saw it in theaters with my then girlfriend, now fiance, uh, back then as well. Uh, I remember that we really enjoyed it, but besides that, I did not remember a lot about the movie in great detail. Uh, that was pre-COVID, uh, so a lot of things happened in our lives, and um, that wasn't on top of my mind. So I think, luckily, that um, they thought of this, and they gently lead you in to what happened last year or what happened last time they kind of explain uh how these creatures looked for their i mean they're aliens i don't think that ruins anything because this happens right in the beginning of the movie um so it tells you how they got there how they got there and uh, what kind of chaos they are causing in this town uh, I think the movie is very well acted. Uh, it's, it's hard to say because I know that uh, in the first movie they didn't talk a lot, uh, but they're able to create a lot of tense scenes in this movie uh, without using a lot of words um, through the use of lighting, music, uh, just staging scenes. Um, they do a really fantastic job of this. I thought the movie was great. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Tremors in a way, only in that movie they were able to hear you through uh, the movements that you made on the ground. In this movie they uh, are able to know where you are through noise. Um, and I think it's it's coincidence, but I think it's also uh, a genius that they have the, the little daughter um, as deaf, so she has to know how to do sign language and that's, that helps them get along um, as they go. Uh, Emily Blunt I thought was really great in this movie. She kind of carries the movie um, in certain aspects. Uh, she does a very good job of it. You can uh, definitely tell that she cares about everyone involved in the story uh, and that she uh, you definitely feel her emotions and you feel her struggle to survive uh, what's going on. Um, also, Cillian Murphy, I think that's his name, he plays Emmett. Uh, he also played Scarecrow in Batman, and in this movie he has a beard and a mustache, and I'm, I'm just so glad he does because I didn't think of him as Scarecrow throughout the entire movie. I have a really bad habit of typecasting actors, and uh, for me, Hugh Jackman's always going to be Wolverine. It doesn't matter what song and dance he's doing about Australia or whatever. Uh, he's always, I always just wonder, hey, why aren't you, why, where are the claws at? Uh, he's always going to be Wolverine for me, and I know that's not fair to him. He's a good actor. Um, I probably would have rather seen him in um, The Great Powerful Oz that I reviewed yesterday, um, besides James Franco. Uh, but I still would have thought of him as Wolverine either way. So um, I have a really bad habit of typecasting actors, which I, I know, and I'm, it's never going to... It's never going to resolve itself. Uh, but I was, and I also thought that for Cillian Murphy, that having the mustache and the beard actually um, made him look the part more than he would have if he just went clean his normal clean shave himself. So uh, I thought that was a great, uh, a great idea to do that. Uh, like I said, this movie has a lot of um, tense scenes. Uh, and one thing, I don't think I'm giving anything away here, but one thing I love about this movie is that, and it's different, it's, it's the complete opposite of, uh, say, District 9, where in District 9, uh, if I'm remembering the movie right, you really had to have empathy for these aliens and know what they're going through and understand their motives uh, for the movie to work. Uh, that was, I, I guess, that, that was an outlier in most 
most invasion movies aren't that way. Uh, in fact, they were the ones who were invaded in that movie. Um, but in this movie, you you, uh, you really don't know what their motives are. Um, you don't know why they're doing what they're doing. Uh, they are just murdering and killing everything they hear, and it's fantastic. Um, I don't I don't think you always need to know. Like you, I mean, Independence Day and movies like that are great, but they, I, it always seems like with these type of movies, they want to delve into the alien psyche and the aliens' motives, and let's try to talk to them and see what's going on and see what they want, and it's always world domination or something. Uh, but here you can find it; you can kind of fill in those gaps. I mean, um, they they never have a chance to know what's going on, and that's fine. I don't need to know anything about these uh, creatures besides uh, they are murderous, they're fast, and um, they kill you if they hear you. That's all I really need to know. I mean, they tell you more in the movie later. Uh, I would say halfway through, they give a very important uh an important trait, I would say, about these animal, about these aliens that I don't think we knew before. I don't think we learned that much about them in the first movie. Um, and it, uh, it comes, it definitely is something you need to know. Um, but, I, I mean, this movie for me is great. It, it, it's intense. It's, it keeps you on the edge of your seat the whole time. Um, what little, what dialogue there is in the movie I thought was great. Um, the way they interact with each other, the way everyone basically like has to take care of each other. Uh, I think it's, a, it's just a great, uh, sort of family movie, um, where the family has to really bond together and act as a team and act as one in order to survive. Um, you even later on in this movie, you do see um, a rift in that sort of, um, but it clears itself up, um, and I think it's a great movie. I'm actually I'm glad they did a sequel. Uh, I didn't honestly know they were doing a sequel. Uh, I know the first movie left itself kind of open to one, but uh, I'm all, I feel like I'm always last to know with these sequels. Uh, but I'm really glad I went, and I think everyone else should go as well. If I were to rank this uh, 1 to 10, uh, probably somewhere around an, an 8, I would say. Um, it's better It's better than Tremors, and it reminded me uh, somewhat of Tremors. And I think it's just it, 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 they harp on some things that have been done before, clearly. Uh, but they do it, I believe they do it in, in just such a, a, a great way that uh, what, besides, I mean, when I'm watching movies, I'm always thinking in my head, like, oh, this movie is exactly like this movie or this is exactly like something else I saw in a different movie. Uh, but besides it being vaguely like Tremors, I can't really pinpoint anything that this movie is like. Um, and that's great. I've, I've seen a lot of uh, the Marvel movies, and uh, although they're all, all great movies, I'm just, I need something new. Uh, and this uh, this is definitely was something that was uh, something new and something great. Uh, and I think everyone should see it. I, I think most people are seeing it because it, it's gotten really good reviews, and I think it's number one in the box office. But uh, everyone should definitely go out and see it. And... Um, yeah, I also, I don't know if I'm going to do a review of it because I saw it a few weeks ago, uh, so it's not as fresh in my mind, but uh, if you guys want another recommendation, I would see the movie Nobody as well, which is also a really good movie. Uh, but yeah, I, mean, I told you this one would be a little bit shorter. I didn't have a lot to say because I don't want to ruin it too much, uh, besides the fact that I really liked it, thought the acting was solid, thought the story was solid. Uh, there's a lot of jumping fright scenes in the movie. Um, there's it, it paces really well, I thought. It's not slow. I think a lot of people thought the first one was too slow. Um, but they really do a good job with a movie uh, that doesn't have too much dialogue. There's other things that drive it, and I think the driving factors are enough. All right, thank you. Um, I, maybe next week I'll have another review. I uh, this right, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, I I'm enjoying this so far, <laughs> and uh, that's what matters to me. So <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying it too. But uh, yeah, have a good day. Thanks.